If at any point in your presentation you need to show a video to your audience, there's no need to hook it up to another audio or video source. You can show the video right from your PowerPoint presentation. The video can be existing on your computer, or if you know that you're going to have an active internet connection during your presentation, you can actually embed it right from YouTube. So we're going to do it both ways. The first way we're going to do it is we're going to put a video on in YouTube, and then I'll show you how to properly format the video. So we're not going to be so worried about playback in this video, just how to make it look nice on the slide. So I've got a video of one of our fans, so the first thing I'm going to do is put it in the company overview section. I'll enter a new slide with title and content, and I'll call it Our Fans. Now, I'm going to go to the Insert tab and choose Video. The first one that we're going to do is Online Video. So I've already got my YouTube video open and on my computer, so I can actually paste the embed code right from here. If I didn't have it open on my computer, I can either open it or type it into the Search YouTube box and find it there. Here's my video. I'm going to scroll a little bit further down and click the Share button. And so now I get some options. I can embed it, email it, or do a Google Hangout. I'm going to click the Embed button. So I can't just take this code. There's one more thing I have to do. It needs to be in a format that PowerPoint knows about, so I have to come down here and select Use Old Embed Code because YouTube has since changed how they do things. I'm going to click and drag with my mouse, copy the whole thing, right-click and choose Copy. Now I can come back down to my PowerPoint presentation, and it's telling me where I need to paste my embed code, so I'm going to right-click and choose Paste. When it's in, I can click the arrow to insert it in. Now we wait, and here's my video. Don't worry about the blank screen. We're going to test it in a second to make sure that it really went in okay. But for now, I did want to show you that you can click and drag and resize it, make it a little bit better, center it, do whatever you want. So let's see if it got in there. To launch my slideshow from the current slide, I'm going to hit Shift F5 so we can see what it looks like on the big screen. That looks a little better. So this should be familiar. It's the familiar YouTube interface in which to play it, I can simply click the red play button. I'm going to hit the escape key to get back to my presentation now. And I'm going to select my video and delete it because we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. I'm going to go back to insert, back to video, except this time I'm going to choose video on my PC. In our Assets folder, we have our video of Surfer Fred, so I'm going to select it and click Insert. Looks a little bit different because we're pulling it right from our computer. So this video is all about formatting. Let's make it look nice on the slide. The first thing I can do is resize it so it's a little bit easier to work with. Now, I can play the video right away at any time by just clicking on the Play button at the bottom just to make sure it's the right video. I can hear the audio that goes along with the video as well, which is good. The first thing I want to do is select what's called the poster frame. This is the frame that the viewers are going to see when I land on this slide. Now I can take my mouse down here and drag it to the left or right, and this is advancing every single frame in the video itself. It works kind of like the YouTube interface. So I can kind of drag it around, find which one I want. Maybe I already had an idea. In this case, I'll just look for a good action shot. That's perfect. So when I find the right one, I can come up here to my Format Ribbon tab and choose Poster Frame. I'm going to choose Current Frame. Now down at the bottom, it's telling me the poster frame has been set, so this is the picture that the video is going to be on when I arrive at this slide. The next thing that we can do with our video that's kind of cool is format it just like we could any other image, in that we can add effects to it, we can even change the shape. So I'll make this a little more interesting. I'm going to come up to Video Shape and I'll make it a wave just because it's a video about surfing. So now that I've got my shape, I can actually stretch it and move it around so that it fits the whole slide. I'm actually going to grow this so it fits the borders of the slide itself. I'll drag it around. That's perfect. I can nudge it with my arrow key down a little bit more so I can see the word our fans, and I can add a shadow to it if I want. I can really do anything. Let's see. I'll find one that looks really nice. And you'll notice, if I hit that play button, it still plays inside that shape. The last thing I'm going to do, just to give it a little bit more punch, is to change the background color of the slide. And remember, I do that by going to the Design Ribbon tab, Format Background. I'll keep it on a solid fill, but I'll come down here to Color and change it to something that's going to make the video stand out a little more. That looks great. So now we've got a slide with a video that actually plays that's right in our slide. And that slide is going to entertain our audience just as much as the video will.